And welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. When we last left off, we got ourselves a new character, so now I am joined, as always, by Cecil and our newest party member, Rydia. Now, I've been doing a little bit of level grinding with Rydia. When she first joins your party, she's level 1 and crap. Uh, so, I, I, I didn't want to do anything really with her, so I just went out, got her up to level 5, and... Uh, so that she actually has some magic. When she first joins your party, she has no magic whatsoever. But because she is a mage character, uh, she learns uh, white and black magic. She's already got two of each. We have, you know, Cure One, Sight, uh, and then for black, we got black magic. We've got Lightning and Ice. In terms of summons that she has, she has Chocobo. Uh, but I think level five is good enough uh, for now. Uh, looking at her stats. Yeah, she's only got an attack of 5 with the rod that she comes with. This is all the stuff that she comes with. Uh, but this is some of the best stuff in... Uh, well, this is the best stuff in town, actually. The, the, the cap, helm, the leather armor, and the iron ring. But the rod, we need to replace. We're going to put the iron arrows on her right hand. Right, that lowers her, her attack to 3. We're going to put the short bow on her left hand, and that goes up to 11. Now, because she is right-handed, uh, just think about how you use a bow. Uh, your left hand is really just holding the bow, and the right hand draws it and releases it. So your strong hand is what you want the arrows on. Just keep that in mind. Also, we are going to move her to the back row, uh, which would be down here, uh, because she's still very weak in terms of defense. I mean, yeah, looking at that, uh, her, her vitality is 3 compared to Cecil's, which is 12, <laughs> just just for the record. But we are still in the town of Kaipo. I haven't, you know, forwarded the plot or anything like that. What is up? Welcome to Kaipo of the Damsian Desert, of course. Now, here is another training room. There's another naming way over there. I believe all the training rooms are the same, because these guys all say the same thing that they said the last time. In, ter in terms of uh, naming people at the naming way, I've made an executive decision here, and I'm just going to leave the names as default um, throughout the Let's Play. I know some of you are going to be very disappointed with that, uh, why I made a name character after you, but uh, because I've been calling them by their default names so often already, might as well keep it that way. Anna fell in love with a man, but Tella didn't allow her to see him, so they ran away. Anna ran away from Tella. I care why. Underground waterway is northeast of Kaipa, but eight big sea snakes are blocking the way. Surely I will have to go there and defeat these enemies. Uh, I did buy the, the bow and iron arrows in town here. I just wanted to buy one last quick thing, uh, a cap helmet. Even though I'm not going to be equipping that right now. Why? For mysterious reasons. While we're here though, let's talk to this guy. Someone picked up a sick girl from Bear and falling down. Who is this someone you speak of? What's up, prostitute? How you doing? I want to go to the scene and be a dancer. Watch me dance! That might be one of the best dances of the Super Nintendo. I'm just saying. The Super Nintendo area era right there. Because Final Fantasy 3, that holds nothing. Nothing compared to that one. What is up? Tellus brought up his daughter Anna alone, but Anna ran away to meet a guy. And uh, this is the item shop here. I don't need to get any items right now, especially since I do have a cure mage with me. A couple special refreshments for desert perched throats. Is it ale? It's always ale. What's up? I'm on my way to Fabul. Fabul. But a strange old man is denying the way in the watery pass. So apparently we need to go through the watery pass. Uh, the damn scene royalty can earn the Cave Antlion to the east of Damsian. What's that? Cave Antlion? What the hell is that? If you... Can I... Damn it. She won't give me beer. All I wanted was a beer. Let's go ahead and leave then. I guess we are done here. This is a proper end though. Not uh, not like those ones in Final Fantasy 3 like half the time. 
Our front and rear... Yes, we know about the rows. I have already explained the rows. What's up? The Dempsey Castle in the north covers this area. The Crown Prince sings beautifully as a bard. He's a pussy, apparently. Let's go in here. Last, last house. The girl from Baron was kept from falling down. What? Yeah, once again, just bad English. A girl from Baron fell down, and so she's kept here. She kept calling her name. Do you know Cecil? I am Cecil. Who is this woman? Oh, it's Rosa. Rosa, no. Rosa, please join my party. I need you, baby. Cecil? Don't leave me, Cecil. I won't, baby. I won't. I'll cure you of this. You can trust me. We need Sand Ruby to cure the fever, but it is in the lair of the monster called Antlion, so apparently Cave Antlion is my best guess of where Antlion will be. They just name caves after the strongest enemy in them, I guess. But with that done, it's time to leave Kaipo. We are done here. We have fully explored it, and we need to head to the northeast because this is pretty much the only way we can go. And it goes straight into the watery cave. Watery pass south, apparently. I wanted to call it the watery cave, but apparently I was wrong. Up here we do find another cure one and a heal. Always appreciated. Now, okay, what the hell? There's no battles yet. We just need to keep going. And there, finally, a battle. You know, after all that level grinding, you're not even going to give me a battle. Right, let's attack that first one there. Ready? Uh, you use lightning on them all. <laughs> Electrocute the water enemies. You got evil shells and water bugs. Down go the evil shells. And the water bug used remedy? I, I don't understand. Cecil, will you finish this thing off? Seriously? How strong is this water bug? I wasted an arrow on it. Retreat! Damn you, water bug! You get back here and die! The 90 gil, 165 experience, and a level up for Rydiel. Yeah, leveling her up at, at, at this point of the game is ridiculously easy. So feel free to, you know, I think getting up to level 5 only took me like four or five battles, you know what I mean? All right, let's go down here and fight cave toads. Now, cave toads, I believe, are weak to ice. So let's use ice on all of them. Should be able to finish at least one of them off. Yes, we got one down. Go ahead and attack that cave toad. Down it goes. Cecil gets his turn again, or no, Ready gets her turn. So let's launch an arrow at it to miss. That's exactly what I wanted to do, was miss. Down goes the other cave toad. 70 gil, 135 experience, and Cecil actually gained a level this time. Awesome. Take that heal. And take this tent in the chest. Alright, let's head up here. Here is the strange old man. Who are you, old man? Do you want to fight? What? You wield the dark sword. Help me, I beg you. What? A wicked bard tricked my daughter into running away to Damsian. And I sense evil in that direction of Damsian. You must be the sage Tella. I am Tella. I'm going to Damsian to get my daughter who eloped. But a huge monster is blocking the way. My magic is not strong enough to defeat it. Your dark sword might help. This girl is a caller? She is quite gifted, I sense. We are also on our way to Damsian. Good. Let us work together to get to Damsian. Let's hurry. And Sage Tella has joined the party. Awesome, let's take a look at his stuff here. He's already level 20, so he's definitely stronger than us right now. What kind of magic does he have? He has white and black magic. He knows Cure 2, Charm, Blink. Um, okay, yeah, I should go over some of these. Yeah, Cure 2, of course, heals you for more than Cure 1. Uh, Charm uh, tries to confuse the enemy. Blink makes it so you're less likely to get hit by the enemy. Heal pretty much cures poison. Uh, life revives people. And then, you know, exit leaves, uh, leaves the dungeon. In terms of black magic, he's got fire, ice, lightning, stop. I don't like stop. And psych. Psych needs zero MP. 
Uh, I believe Psych just increases his his uh, magic stat. It's like focus in other games, I believe it was called. But we do need to move him. He is, after all, a mage. So let's move him down here so that he's in the back row. And I have my two back row fl slots filled in for now. And then uh, let's check his equipment. Uh, he's got a staff and nothing on his head, which is why I bought the cap. Yeah, I don't have anything there. Can he put the rod? He, can he equip the rod? Uh, the staff's better. Staff is definitely better. Now, with him in our party, we can continue on. Let's head up here. No, let's not head up there. Let's head over here and grab this treasure chest. We get 120 gil. Awesome. Now, let's head up here. And I do believe that we will find a fight right here. Oh, we are surprised. So they get their first attack in. And uh, we do have new enemies. These are pikes. They're, they're well named after fish. So you never guess what kind of enemy they are. They're fish. Let's go ahead and attack. And you use lightning on everybody. You do the same if Tella doesn't finish the job. But I have a feeling that he will. Yeah! <laughs> Go Tella. Get 130 gil, 153 experience, and another level up for Rydia, and she has learned Hold. I don't remember what Hold does. Alright, but we get uh, Heal out of there. Hold on for one second. 